Bratz, you might remember a video a while back where we trashed on some silicone covers that a company sent us because there was no air holes at all for airflow or to keep your Quest running well. This company, Relojas, is looking to change that with their silicone kit for the Quest 2. Let's check it out. So $32 will get you everything in this box. That is going to be a whole bunch of silicone. We have got one face pad cover, one whole headset cover, a grip for each controller, hand strap for each controller, a wrist strap for each controller, and little silicone nubbies for your thumbsticks. $32, that's a pretty good deal for this much silicone. And what I like about this one, although I haven't tried this yet to see how this fits, they at least do have the proper air holes. Some of you may not know, your Quest 2 actually has vents built into the top and the bottom here to run air over that XR2 processor inside. And that's how it keeps it somewhat cool. Let's try these things on. These are gonna be pretty simple as far as installation. You look at them, they say right or left on it. And then when you go to install it, there's this little nub here that that can hook to. You're gonna face that towards the back of the controller and just slide this in. Then this part just goes through here, maybe. It's like threading a sticky needle because it's silicone, so it's not that easy. We run that back through itself. Wrist strap is there. Oh, I always, I always forget there's a step here. You have to do this. This is the left one. I need to put this on. And then I have to run this through this tiny little hole in the bottom here. Come on. It's a bit of a pain, but once you put it on, hopefully you're not gonna be dealing with it again too often, except when you have to change batteries, which luckily on the Quest 2 is quite a long time in between, but depending on how much you play, I find grips can be kind of a pain because of the battery. So that's up to you and your personal preference. Make sure when you do it, that you separate these sides and stick it through there. Cause now I have to redo this. Open it. Now feed your weird thing through. Okay. And then that goes up through the top and hooks on with the silicone. One set of silicone grips. I've been using not this part that holds on that you hold on with, but I have been using these for a while personally. And I will say they're nice. They feel good. They hold in your hands, but they are pretty thin right here where they go in and they do tend to start to break there over time. So if you get these, they'll, they could last a while, or if you're rough on them, you could probably kill a set of these in like a week or two. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And you just put this up over here, run this back and one controller is done. Now I do have a Xerical aftermarket facial interface on here. Normally with this silicone, you'd probably be using it to replace the stock one. Should still fit over this technically, but it may not be as good of a fit because the stock facial interface is a little thicker than normal. So this is basically just like every other silicone. It's just a slip on. One thing that I do find, I wish they would make these secure a little better up here. I found when I've used them before, they tend to be prone to a little bit of face slippage, but basically that keeps your sweat off there. What I'm saying is like, if you move around a lot, sometimes they like to slip on you. Since I'm not using the stock face pads, also not fitting quite as nicely as it would with that. But I've tested tons of sets of these and I can tell you if you want silicone, they work okay. I personally prefer a full replacement. And then this last piece right here, whatever kind of a uh, strap you have, you're gonna have to remove it to get this on. This is just gonna slip over either side right here. Oh gosh. And then that covers the entire outside in a protective layer of silicone. I think it does, it adds some color to it, which is kind of nice. It has the holes for the vents, but my main problem with these is that they don't tend to stay in place really well. This thing, if you're playing and this thing starts to slip on you, I mean, it could slip out that far and then you're losing camera tracking as far as that moves out. Short of gluing these on, I really feel like these silicone covers are not well thought out because they just don't have any part here that holds onto it. Boy, that's a lot of silicone though. That's a whole lot of blue. It's getting kind of hilarious looking at this point. It smells like silicone. The question is, do I recommend a kit like this? If you want silicone everywhere on everything, this is a decent price for what you're getting and it is gonna work for you. I don't personally see the need. I know that this adds a little bit of protection in case you were to drop your quest or something. I hope most of you are more careful than ever having that happen. The grips themselves are nice. I personally really like these kinds of uh, silicone 
hand straps, but I have to use something that doesn't cover the controller like this to fit it into my anchor charging dock. So if you have an anchor charging dock, these aren't gonna work for you, but for my purposes, I do like these outside parts. And honestly, I'll probably keep these as a backup for the ones I'm currently using with it. The face pad being a silicone cover, we've covered that kind of in other videos. It is nice because it feels good on your face, but the problem with a lot of them is they start to move around when you get sweaty. It's a risk there, but it is better, I would say, for silicone over the stock face pad. So if you got the stock one, you're not wanting to invest in a full facial interface cover, that part's okay. Ugh. But this, this outside part, I just don't personally see the purpose. If you like the look of that, if you like that it's there, that's a personal preference. So I will leave a link in the description in case you're interested in buying the whole kit all together, because you're gonna get a lot cheaper than buying them all separately. But to be honest, I think it's a little unnecessary. I think I would buy these grips if you want them and then a silicone face cover if you like that. Those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear if you have different thoughts. Let me know in the comments section. Maybe some of you have used this for a long time and you think it's just absolutely the best and you like that it makes it look different and custom. I think it looks a little funky, but it definitely does give you some security if you're like setting it down kind of hard. It doesn't feel nearly as scary. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nebatebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel. Just don't pan down to the floor. <laughs> just crap it's everywhere. Happening often. People make jokes that in every unboxing video when I throw stuff, we never clean it up. Yeah. So there's like this mountain of garbage. <laughs>